Hello, uh, my name is Frankie Wilson, and I am here with the cast of Manic Monologues at the Water Tower Theater here in Addison, Texas. We'll get into this quick interview about all of these incredible topics that seem to be taboo, but um, we're going to address them tonight, and then you can actually see how you can come and be a part of the conversation. Sure, yeah, thank you, Frankie. Um, you know, mental health uh, awareness is uh, something that um, has been very important to me in my own personal life, having uh, various uh, uh, family members that suffer from bipolar, schizophrenia, et cetera. But it's something that's been highlighted since uh, the pandemic. It's something that, um, as I understand it, most people in this cast have someone close to them um, that has that challenge as well. In the past, this being the third show in this season, I think it's important to um, disrupt uh, the stigma, as Zach, uh, one of the writers says. and. Um, uh, and I think um, this show does just that, and I, I'm uh, very proud of it. I think as a theater, we have, um, and I don't use this word lightly, a responsibility to be able to, to tell this beautiful story with this amazing friend of mine, director, whose brain is the only brain that I trusted really with this piece, because um, she's, uh, she's a, a genius, uh, quite honestly. I have never had more fun doing art in my life <laughs> nice. than doing this. So yes, the topic is heavy, and yes, there are things about it that are weighty, and, but, but, but what we're trying to do, I think, as a company is show that there's, there's hope. When we have conversation, we have hope, you know? I'm certain. Now, I wish everybody could see, matter of fact, you can um, come right here to the Water Tower Theater to yourself to see um, what the set looks like and see all of the different words, phrases, ideas. I think most of us have experience with mental illnesses of one, one kind or another, either yeah. personally or with our family. Um, I have generalized anxiety disorder and sensory processing disorder. My son is uh, autistic, OCD, um, sensory disorder. He's got a host of comorbidities. And I know, I, I'm not gonna speak for anyone, but I know that the majority of the people in this room have some sort of experience with or are touched by um, mental illness or, and or neurodivergence. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about some of the topics um, that you guys are going to be addressing. My first monologue um, is called Part of Dyskinesia. Um, it actually refers to um, a side effect of medication that uh, was prescribed for this character's um, schizophrenia. And um, what it is, is it's the spasming of her muscles and her, her tongue um, being completely out of her control and um, her losing agency over her body um, as a result of the medication that she took to try to help her right. schizophrenia. Both of mine have to deal with OCD. One of them deals with also schizoaffective disorder. Um, and you see two different worlds. In one monologue, you see a man who's in a way conquered it, even though it's always a work in progress. He's kind of conquered it. And the other one, you see a man who's crippled by it. And I learned that things manifest differently than I imagined they did. Like learning about so many different stories from people, you learn the differences of each thing and realize that it's not this kind of singular definition with a singular path and a singular outcome. Wow. And so it's not so much learning about different diseases, but it's learning about the vast differences. One of the best ways to get a person's attention is um, through the arts, because there are so many different points of sensory and cognition that touch a person and that really um, can really uh, leave an impact with a person. I want to give you the last words as we um, make it out of this, uh, but before we do, I want to say thank you again for uh, just being uh, one of the bold ones to speak up on behalf of these communities and these people that are unseen to a great um, extent. Um, I'm very humbled by those comments and again by the opportunity. WaterTowerTheater.org, um, our website, uh, there's tickets available. It's uh, There's song, dance, story, um, it's a beautiful cast. They're doing a, a wonderful job and um, I, I, this is very important to me and, and um, I hope that it's important to you because I know it's important to these people. So. Thank you so much. We will see you all at the theater.